introduce our first comic. Please welcome your first comic. You know, may know him as the guy who eats pizza for breakfast. The king of passing comments. Papa Warbox himself. Vaughn. Oops, I vacuumed up dog puke. Tridy! Good to be here. I've come here all the way from North Dakota. I've lied. My arms are real tired. <laughs> so, I'm going to talk about... Well, first of all, first of all, one, I want to get a great big oof da from everybody. Oof da! Thank you, thank you. Because that's, what the kind of, that's the kind of jokes you're going to be hearing right now. You're going to say oof da after you hear them. So, Ole Olsen was a very good friend of mine. Back in North Dakota, he was a very funny guy. He did a lot of great things, and that's why we like to tell all these wonderful stories about him. And Ole was married to, is what Ole Olsen was married to, Lena, and his good friend Sven lived on the neighboring farm. So that's, that's the background. So one day, Ole and Sven were out on Ole's barn shingling, uh, repairing it, shingling, putting the shingles back on, you know. And uh, Ole looked up to see how Sven was doing, and you know what he said, Ole would, I mean, he noticed that Sven would pull out a nail from his apron, he'd look at it, he'd throw it away, and then he'd pick up the next one, he'd nail it in. He'd pick one one up, he'd throw it over his shoulder. The next one, he would nail in. And uh, Ole says, hey, Sven, why are you throwing away all those nails? He says, Ole, these nails are pointed the wrong way. You've got to get the ones that are pointed this way. And then Ole laughs and he says, Sven, you stupid fool. Those are for this side of the barn. So Ole and Sven like to go ice fishing. You know, they go out and you, you put the little house on the ice and you sit there and you and you play cards and you get a little hole in the ice and you wait for the fish to bite and stuff. And while you're there, you just, you just sit sit there. And uh, Ole looks over at Sven and Sven's got this container. You know, it's a big, big green container. It's made out of metal. And he says, what? what? Sven, what's that thing? And uh, Sven says, that's called a thermos. He says, what's a thermos? Well, that's something that, he, that keeps hot stuff hot and cold stuff cool. So what you got in there? Well, we got half a pot of coffee and two popsicles. <laughs> so um, Oli called up, the, called up the airport, and he says, he says, how long does it take to fly to Fargo? And they said, just a minute, he hung up. Oh, 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 thank you, thank you. So, so Oli, you know, Oli wasn't just a farmer. He was a very man of many talents. He was very, very talented. And one of the things he was really good at was painting portraits. He would paint, well, he would paint landscapes and portraits and pictures of animals and all sorts of stuff. And it was really good. It was like a, like a photograph, only better. So people would always want to have Oli paint their picture. So one day, this really fancy sports car pulls up, and this beautiful lady uh, gets out in Oli's farmyard, and she comes up and she says, Are you Oli Olsen? She says, Yeah, that's me. She says, I hear you're the best painter in the whole Midwest. I want you to do a painting, a portrait of me. And he says, And then I'll pay you $10,000 to do it. Well, yeah, that sounds good. And she says, But one thing, it's got to be in the nude. Ah, uh, I better go to ask my wife Lena about that. So he goes in, and he goes in, and he talks to Lena, and he comes back out, and he says, Yeah, Lena says it's okay, but i got to keep my socks on, so I have some place to wipe my bushes. So, and so uh, one day, Ole and Lena, you know, Ole and Lena, they, they were kind of, they were kind of young when they got married, and it was a long time ago. And so they, um, they got married out in the church, out in the, out in the rural area, and then they were going to drive to, they are going to drive to Bismarck. They are going to stay in Bismarck for their honeymoon. So they go out there, and they drive, when, they, when they reach Bismarck, Ole reaches over and he puts his hand on, on Lena's knee, and Lena says, you know, Ole, we're married. You can go a lot farther now. So we drove to Fargo. Oh, stop! Oh, stop! <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, Ole, uh, Oli and Lena, they had a they had a very good they had a very very romantic courtship. And when, and after they've been married a few years, they're driving down the road and Oli and Oli says to Lena, Remember when we were youngsters and we used to 
go over by the side of the road we used to park and smooch and do other stuff. And he says, yeah, that was lots of fun. And Ollie says, maybe we could do that right now. It would be, be fun. She says, yeah, Ollie, but what if somebody saw us? I'd be so embarrassed. He says, well, here, we got a nice, some nice grass over here. We can go underneath the car and we can make out under there. And she says, yeah, but Ollie, the car's kind of small. What if your, your big old legs are going to stick out of there? What, what are they going to say if somebody comes and they see your big old legs sticking out? And Ollie says, I'll tell them I'm fixing the clutch. So, so okay, then, so they pulled over, they got underneath, they're going to town, you know, they're just forget about themselves, they're going to have so much fun. And all of a sudden, Sven drives by and says, Oli, what you doing down there? And, and Oli says, Sven, I'm fixing the clutch. And he says, well, you better fix the brakes first, because your car's all the way down to the bottom of the hill. One day, one day, um, uh, it was winter, and, and they only and Nina lived on a farm next to a lake. And all across the other side of the lake, there's a little town that's got a general store. And Ole says, I'm, you know, I'm out of smokes. You know, well, let's go and get me, go to town and get me some smokes. And, uh, you know, she says, but it's, it's so far. It's such a far, you know, such a far way to walk and the car won't start. She says, oh, just walk across the lake. It's, you know, it's frozen now. You can walk across the lake. So, so um, she says, okay, give me some money. And he said, no, no, no. You can put it on my tab. And so... And she she, gained, she went across the, across the lake and she came back with his smokes. And she says, Oli, the storekeeper kind of scolded me. He said, you're putting too much stuff on your tab. And you've got to pay up. Why didn't you give me some money? And she said, and he says, well, I didn't know how thick the ice was. And so another time, another time, <laughs> Lena comes home and she has, so she has to walk home. You know, and, and Oli says, Lena, where's the car? And she says, it, it won't run. There's water in the carburetor. And he says, oh, dang, i got to go fix it. Where is it? It's in the lake. Oh, <laughs> another time, another time, Oli got a little bit of trouble. Well, he, you know, you know, farmers don't always make, you know, they sometimes they have to take an extra job because the farm life is hard, and so you got to make ends meet. So Oli took a, took a job in the factory in town. And so one day Oli came home, and he looked all sad, and... And Lena says, what happened? And Ole says, well, I got in an accident, and they fired me. He says, what? How did that happen? He says, well, I got my tain stuck in the pickle slicer. Oh, my God, Ole, show me, show me. So he drops down his pants, and his, she looks at his tain and says, your tain is fine, fine. So why did, they, why did they fire you? And he says, well, to be fair, they fired the pickle slicer, too. <laughs> so, so Oli was in trouble. Oli was in real trouble for that. And uh, Lena, he had to make it up to Lena, and she says, "Okay, I, I want you to buy me something. If you're gonna, gonna forgive you, I want me to buy you something that goes from zero to two hundred pretty damn fast. And I want to see it out in my driveway out here." And so, uh, the very next day, Oli, uh, Lena comes out, and she's looking for her fancy car, and she doesn't see nothing. And then and she looks down, and there's a, there's a um, box and inside it's a bathroom scale. Holy, holy, holy wasn't heard from for several weeks. <laughs> so, so uh, Oli, uh, Oli went to the doctor and uh, and he got it all a big checkup and you know the doctor and uh, doctor came came out and Lena says, What's is Oli okay? And Lina, and the doctor says, Well, you know, Oli has a bad heart. And so if you want him to live, you're going to have to be really, really nice to him. You're going to have to, you're going to, have to wait on him hand and foot. You're going to have to do anything he wants. You're going to have to help out with the farm chores. And uh, then I think, I think he'll be okay if that's the case. Maybe. And so um, Oli set up, comes out and, and he says to Lena on the way home, he says, uh, what did the doctor say? And Lena says, the doctor says you're not going to make it. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. So, so one, we got a, one more thing, and this is kind of sad. This is kind of sad. This is how Oli met his end. Aww. And so Oli and Sven were out snowmobiling, and they'd had a few too many peppermint schnapps. You know, you know you're out in the cold, and you like to have some peppermint schnapps. Well, they had one too many. And they crashed into a fence, and they went over her heels, and they died. And Oli and Sven, they'd been, you know, they'd been they kind of lived a kind of a, not the best lives. So they ended up not going up there, but they, up here, but they went down there. And so the, um, so the, the 
they're sitting there and the devil comes to see them and he says, what's wrong with you guys? You guys look pretty happy. And they said, well, you know, up there in North Dakota, it's pretty damn cold. We kind of like it down here. And the devil says, oh, I don't like this. I'm going to make sure that they're miserable. So they, they, they crank it. They, he cranks up the heat in their, in their little area. And he comes back to check on them and they got, they're in their shirt sleeves and they're drinking beer and they're, and they're frying up some nice walleye. <laughs> well, the devil says, what's, yeah, you guys just want to be miserable. I says, no, nah, no, on a nice warm day like this, we, we're going to have a nice fish fry, and we're going we're gonna to enjoy ourselves. It's so nice here. <laughs> and so the devil says, I'm going to fix those two. I'm going to fix those two. I'm going to make it colder than hell, you know. And so he turns off the heat in that part of hell, and it's just completely frozen. There's icicles and everything. And, uh, and so he goes out to check on Ole and, Ole and Stanley. And says, now they're going to be, uh, now they're going to be in misery and agony. And instead, those two guys are jumping up and down and yelling and, and slapping their mittens, mittens together and screaming. And, uh, and they said, the devil says, I give up. What the heck is wrong with you guys? Why are you so happy? And he says, well, since it's freezing down here, we know the Minnesota Vikings have finally won the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 Sayings was how do you know whether you're young or old? How? Well, this is how you tell. If you're in a public place and you fall down, if everybody laughs and points at you, you're young. If everybody <laughs> screams and runs up and helps you, you're <laughs> 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 <laughs>